hey Kurt, you and I are going to the moon. Good morning. It's January 2nd. It's a fresh new year. And I'm really excited to kick it off with all of you. Just really have done a lot of reflecting over the past few weeks and throughout the end of 2016. And I'm just really happy to be doing what I'm doing and to continue on that path. So, I'm just heading over to my parents' place. I am excited for all the snow. Hopefully we get to go out and do a little bit of snowmobiling. Maybe not today, but maybe today. I want to edit some more vlogs today for sure. And I hope that you're interested in starting creating or you're starting something new in the new year. I think it's always just a really good time to think about what you want to do and what you are doing. So if you are starting anything new, um, let me in the comment section and then keep me posted on what you're doing and what you want to do and what you want to accomplish in 2017. Or if you don't want to accomplish anything, you can just say hi. I'm going to try this year to um, to do those things that I want to procrastinate. I started that last year too. Uh, I don't know how well I did, but that's one of my goals. So when I want to procrastinate, just to do it instead. So I'm just getting ready to kick the work week off again. And one thing that I do pretty much every Sunday, well today's Monday, is just to make some bran flax muffins. I like to have them in the morning and they're really good, they're really fibrous. And they're kind of like a little morning breakfast treat. If we're more connected, that's better for everyone. Um, and you know, so much together is nice, but we also have to figure out, uh, you know, how do we translate wealth into well-being? How do we distribute? When you think of you know, sort of the broader moment, a challenge, uh, the big contest, uh, really for all of you. Way, if I were going to be somewhat, um, you want to start laundry? So the challenge is, I guess. Um, in the midst of obvious anger, uh, we have to keep looking for, uh, I think, the positive ways forward. And because he came to power, uh, a kind of win, uh, policy win, uh, but now that they've got one of their own in office, and that he's campaigned, they're going to let him do it. I think that he's going to be able to uh, traditional Republican. Uh, we've been able to get, you know, even uh, the Democrats who are against, uh, and strong populist movements help to help to help to put things in motion again. Uh, help more radical. That makes me naively optimistic. Uh, I like to think that it makes me. So tomorrow is kind of the official start back into the new year, back to work, and I kind of want to make a habit of just getting into some type of a vlog clothes on a regular basis um, just because a lot of the ones that I've been uploading are kind of like don't really have an end. I'm just kind of thinking about when um, Kurt and I were working out. All I thought was 
you know, hey Kurt, you and I are going to the moon. Yeah, and it worked really well. Like it seems, had a lot more fun with the workout. I think I had a lot more strength and endurance and just really realized the impact of how what I'm thinking can impact my workout and how much better I can perform um, when I'm thinking cool things like we're going to the moon or I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger or I'm sending this strength out to you and just um, really focusing on feeling love and not fear and I don't know been a lot of focus on love and fear for the past year actually. Some people, you know, say there's only two emotions, one's love and one is fear. So Kurt got me some lights for Christmas, some lighting, which I think is going to be really awesome for vlogging and making some cool videos and also for doing the Facebook Live exercise classes. And we're going to get those set up tomorrow night and I'm started doing a five minute journal and started like documenting by, I've done this a few times in my life and the times I have done it, it's proven to be pretty effective. So just written down like how I'm going to spend basically my time that is not spent working and kind of a couple realistic things that I want to do for the week. So this week I want to close my vlog every day or something like this and also to oh, document what I'm going to do each day. I was listening to Six Pixels of Separation podcast today and the guy he was interviewing said like everybody's looking for everybody's looking for a place So that just kind of made me think about this vlog and, you know, what I hope people get when they watch it. I hope they feel, you know, a sense of peace with themselves and just a little bit of calmness and relaxation. I hope it's just a little bit of insight into somebody else's life and thoughts. And I think just knowing that we have that in common is um, comforting and reassuring and pleasant. It's a nice word, pleasant. So I will leave you with that. I hope you have a great night and I hope the week ahead is going to be great. And keep your heart soft. Choose love instead of fear.